Good morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular vitamin for our soul. This morning we have two verses. First, let me read uh, the first verse written in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. It read, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. We are all special because we are all created in the image of God. I encounter a poem. The title is The Paint Brush. So the poem goes like this. I keep my paint brush with me wherever I may go in case I need to cover up so the real me doesn't show. I'm so afraid to show you me, afraid of what you'll do. You might laugh or say mean things. I'm afraid I might lose you. I like to remove all my paints, coats, to show you the real true me. But I want you to try to understand. I need you to accept what you see. So if you'll be patient and close your eyes, I'll strip off all my coats real slow. Please understand how much it hurts to let the real me show. Now my coats are all stripped off. I feel naked, bare, and cold. If you still love me with all that you see, you are my friend, pure as gold. I need to save my paintbrush, though, and hold it in my hand. I want to keep it handy in case someone doesn't understand. So please protect me, my friend, and thank for loving me true. But please let me keep my paintbrush with me until I love me too. The author of the poem is actually trying to show the real self to his friend. He's, tr he's trying to remove the, the, the paint coats. He's trying to unmask himself. He's trying to show the real himself. And by doing that, his friend accepted him, whoever he is. But at the end of the poem, the author wanted to keep the brush because he needs still to learn how to accept himself. In the verse that we have uh, that we read in the book of Genesis chapter 1, it says that God has created you, God has created me, God has created every man and woman in this world according to his image. Therefore, we are the same. In the eyes of God, we are all his creation. We breathe the same air. We have the same sun. And we learn to accept each other. But first, we learn to accept who we are. We are God's creation. And yes, it is true that we also live and we also uh, walk on this earth and we fall, we sin. And because of that, we face the consequence of our sin. And we live in the consequence of our sin. But the second verse that I would like to read is written in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. And this verse is also a promise. And it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So, even if you fall into sin and live in the consequence of your sin, this promise still holds 
that if you will come to Christ, then God will make a new creation out of your life. Yes, it might be a uh, barred in sin and the consequences of it, but the promise says God can make a new creation and remove the old and behold, God will give you a new you. We just need to accept and believe on His Son, Jesus Christ. Whoever you are, you are God's creation. Whatever you have done, God can make a new creation. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you because every one of us is equal in your sight because we are all created by you and according to your image. Heavenly Father, truly, we all have sinned. We make wrong choices. We make wrong judgment. And because of that, we have earned the consequence of that. And we thank you because you still can make a new and wonderful creation out of those sinful life that we have lived. Heavenly Father, allow us to understand your gospel and accept your Son, Jesus Christ, so that new creation will begin in our lives. Heavenly Father, once again, thank you for this reminder. Thank you for your promises. In Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning!